Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Buying furniture in the Philippines. Um, most of it's crap. Uh, it's it's like it's bizarre because I've had chats with some Filipinos in quite uh, good positions and they're quite proud of the fact that the Philippines utilizes other people's crap <laughs> which is quite funny because like the jeepneys the old World War II trucks the uh, uh, jeeps um, Japan's old uh, multi-cap you know the little minivans they're all being cut and shut and rebuilt in the Philippines. There's, they're sort of proud that they've turned people's crap into something useful. It's a bit of a scrap heap challenge in some ways. But furniture is terrible. Um, first thing is bamboo furniture. If you get bamboo furniture, um, the locals treat it by taking it into the sea because the sea water will actually dry it they basically it kills the termites or whatever it does to it i'm not 100 percent sure but a lot of the furniture you'll see along the side of the roads that is for sale has not been treated for termites um what i was doing with the stuff we bought is i got it's called i think it's selignum selignum rings a bell um it's about it's quite expensive stuff but basically i brushed it all over it um and then, <laughs> and then you bang the the legs of the bed the table whatever and you'll see all the dead termites because <laughs> they'd fall out and you'd have to do it i mean i did it about six times i think but eventually it does kill them and make it um termite proof but ideally you want it pressure treated uh which basically is done in a big pressurized tank um haven't seen it in the philippines but i have done it in the uk because i used to um used to build timber frame housing before and well not just houses offices hotels etc uh it's called uh tantalizing in uk but anyway so the bamboo stuff be aware it comes with free termites um the big the big what i call the big cheap chains i think that's the best way to put <laughs> things like the gasano and stuff um be aware that a lot of the uh, melamine you know the laminate and whatever is very very thin it's paper thin sometimes so in that temperature it rolls it it's a waste of time it will deteriorate quite rapidly the sofas feel like the plate made out of pallet wood that sort of stuff but then if you go a bit further up market um we buy our furniture from ayala um now <laughs> here's a comparison i think our first sofa which is like a chaise lounge uh filipino size chaise lounge which is like the mini sofa you know the ones they have in the movie where they're sort of laid out that cost us i think about three and a half thousand um the sofa in my apartment's about thirty five thousand. um where it's got the big cushions you know the western style you know cushions like this thick etc that's where the problem is because what you have in the philippines is you've got two two people uh joe i've got no money and joe i've got loads of money <laughs> so this bit in the middle doesn't exist there is no middle middle bit um that's why you see a lot of people use plastic um wardrobes and cabinets and stuff because they're termite proof but they're cheap but they're not cheap cheap they're not as cheap as they should be they're overpriced but there is no middle market it's all like it's geared for the lower market at an expensive rate um but ayala i found have given me some of the best furniture we bought the other stuff we made um so if you're a good carpenter or something or hire a good carpenter they can knock up most of the good stuff for you anyway um that's what the rich people do <laughs> they get it all made for them because it's cost effective and they've got the money to do it um and it's worth doing
It really is. Um, you can get some really good, well-made stuff because the the stuff that you can buy is not fantastic. Um, I'm not even sure most of it's even new because I know some of the warehouses in Cebu is all. They call it surplus, but what they actually mean is secondhand. Um, it's coming from Japan or whatever. It's a junk shop challenge. Um, I mean, they don't even tidy up the dust half the time. So yeah, furniture, be aware. If you're just thinking, I'm, I'm just gonna go and get this nice can It might be crap, real junk. Um, find yourself a good carpenter, worth the weight in gold. Um, and they'll produce some fantastic stuff. We, we've got a couple of builders that I'd rather wait a year for them than get other people in. Um, the tiling's spot on, the, uh, the rendering, pretty much everything, every task they do is on the money. Um, best electrician I've come across has been myself. <laughs> well, um, but then again, I, I've been in the trade for 22 and a half years, so I might know it a little bit more than the average Filipino, because, simply because those that have been in there for that sort of length of time aren't in the Philippines, they're working overseas somewhere, because um, that's the brain drain issue, um, where an electrician these days is probably the apprentice of the apprentice of the apprentice of the apprentice of the apprentice because everyone else is overseas so you can't get the quality out of them uh, they just don't know it's not there's no point arguing with them or shouting at them or whatever because they've never been trained properly and that's why i like spending time with people in the philippines because i like teaching people stuff sometimes they find it a bit intimidating because obviously if you're going to quote a job and you're like oh yeah i can do this do that and then the guy there actually knows more than you you're then a bit uh, i don't want to do this job anymore <laughs> because you're worried about the expectations but i'm quite happy um to do a lot of this stuff for them I, the only stuff i can't do is crawl along the ceilings and stuff um <laughs> but i I'll be honest with you, my father-in-law does a lot of that for me, um, which is a bit unfair since my father-in-law's in his 50s, but he's pretty pretty nimble for his age. He's pretty fit. Um, but also, if I went up in the ceiling and I pulled the whole lot down, I'm probably about three times his body weight. Um, but also, he was brought up on the farm, so he's, he's like most Filipinos. They're... Um, super agile um and I, and I mean i mean i watched the um special forces where the filipino guys were had the women with them and the women carry their weight as much as the guys they're because the body frame so similar uh, but uh, i mean you look at a woman in the philippines although they're quite um what do you call it quite small and petite they can still carry their weight um where they where as a westerner we sweat and stuff they can keep going because it's just it's just the body ratios are right for that environment <laughs> where i was um we struggle a bit but anyway off tangent as usual the um furniture if you want good stuff have a look at ayala if you can't get it there um get it made um and i might even say get it made anyway purely because the cost of good furniture is not cheap um and you can get it made exactly the way you want with a good carpenter start them on something small uh because if they're crap at least you can get rid of them get them to do a big job and they can make a real mess before you realize um and they don't have any money to, they're not insured <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to put it right for you. They're just going to disappear and never be seen again if they make a mistake. So, be, you have been warned. But, yeah, furniture, uh, the Gisano stuff and that, it's not great. But Ayala, okay. SM, I can't really say. I haven't, even, I haven't bought any furniture from SM at all. Um, 
I'm actually struggling to think where there is furniture. Um, I've never seen any in SM, to be honest. Uh, no, I don't remember seeing any. So I can't really comment on SM. They've got out of that one. <laughs> Thanks for watching.